Just ate some shrimp. Uh, and yeah, I'm just chilling right now. But um, of course, being that today's Tuesday, the day that Black Ops Two comes out, everybody talking about it. My inbox, well, my sub box is full of it. I'm, I'm just gonna break down the Call of Duty cycle for you guys. Okay, here's the Call of Duty cycle. Call of Duty comes out. Right, let's let's start from four because one through three really weren't that popular. Like they were popular, but they wasn't really. Come on, it wasn't really multiplayer popular. Let's say that. So you got Call of Duty Four comes out. These are all the Call of Duty that's in my house currently. But um, Call of Duty Four comes out. Everybody's like, "Yeah, it's the best game ever," and of course, since it's the original one that everybody liked. That one will forever be praised. Forever. Let me sit down. And my bed is freaking messy. I don't have the sheets on it because I took them off. Why? Because my brother's... Stepped all on them and all that. So, yeah, that's my OCD problem right there. But anyway, let me show you guys. Okay, so, like I said, the original. Everybody likes the original, right? So... What's gonna happen? New Call of Duty comes out. Well, we're skipping World of Warlords. Let's, let's be real. That was the original for Treyarch, so y'all feel y'all wait, okay? So, Modern Warfare 2. Best game. As soon as it came out, oh, best selling game, right? Best selling PlayStation 3 title, best selling Xbox title, all that. Everybody loved Modern Warfare 2, right? Then what happened? couple months before Black Ops came out, everybody hates Modern Warfare 2 all of a sudden. Oh my god, the new twos are too much. Oh my god, this, oh my god, that. The new twos, for me, didn't really change the game. It just messed up. Like, if you were in the lobby with people new to me, basically you just had to leave. Simple as that. It's not that big of a deal. But if you get into concert lobbies, I can see why you might be mad. But really, let me tell you about this. It's called the $60 high. Okay? You buy a game for sixty dollars, and no way are you disappointed or anything. Are you mad? Are you anything? You buy a game for sixty dollars, you're happy. You're happy no matter what. It don't. I don't care. There's no game that as soon as you pop in the game tray, you would not be excited to get ready to play. No game because you spent sixty dollars on it. So. That's the sixty dollar high right there. It's gonna last a little while, but once you get through with the game, you hate the game. Believe me. Black Ops comes out. Everybody loved it in the beginning, right? Then what? People were going back to Modern Warfare Two. Why? Because the sixty dollar high was wearing off of some people. Then guess what? By the end of Black Ops Two, oh my God, it's too slow paced. Oh my God, we need somebody to save us. Modern Warfare Three, sixty dollar high. All the way up into February, everybody loved this game. Then all of a sudden, Black Ops 2 was announced in, what, like April or something? Everybody hates Modern Warfare 3 already. You get the cycle, you are all Call of Duty drones. Please, stop freaking crying about, don't cry about Black Ops 2 three months later. If you like it now, you better stick with your opinion. Goodbye, people.